You gonna drive or you want me to drive? Huh? All right. So we have our small header on here. They were doing work to it. So now we're gonna switch. So me and Robert are gonna drop this one. This is a 15 and a half foot head. Um, we use it mainly in between uh, trees or orchards. So some of our growers, I need to get my sunglasses. Some of our growers have alfalfa planted in between pistachios, young pistachios. So this will fit in between it. So this head, we usually never used to use it that much. It was the only rotary we had and we use sickles primarily, but now we run all rotaries and this head comes in handy when we have to go in between trees because the 16 footers won't fit. So we're just going to swap heads real quick. Yeah, we're going to disconnect it right here, but I asked Robert if he ran it. He hadn't ran it yet, so we figured we better run it before we unhooked it. But it sounds good. The cool thing about these cases is and you can change the heads over in like 10 minutes. It's really neat. You know, you're going to switch a lot, which we always thought was pretty cool. Um, and there is no metal in this cab to stick to. So it's real simple. You just got to undo that. And then you drop your flotation all the way down to nothing. And it'll put the head into um, removal mode. And then you drop it down, undo the pins, undo the hoses, and drive away sort of you guys can watch but we'll speed it up down take all the pressure off Yeah, they were checking in a stock order. Okay. So, you, I mean, I guess you can, well, no, you got to change the tensioner too, huh? So, they have that, but, which I guess, I mean, we're going to have to go anyway, whether they have them or not, because we need the belt tensioner for the swather. So, I guess whenever you're done, Robert, if you want to go in there and, well, you want to just go and get what they got. Let's get a bird's eye view of Picasso here. That's crooked. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> okay. Got the twine ready to tie up. We'll try to tie it. I gotta tie the 
top and the bottom together and then pull tension on it like it has a bail on it and see if it ties Ooh, new roller fell We should put the chute down and then pull tension on the twine and trip it see what happens get out of here a better way to do this but this is how I'm gonna do it. Do this a little bit easier. son told me the other day we were doing math and he's like dad I know five plus five I'm like oh okay that's good and then I was like what's six plus five and he's thinking really hard trying to figure it out and he counts five fingers on one hand and counts five on the other he goes I don't know I don't have enough fingers <laughs> I'm gonna pull all these. Oh man. <laughs> ah, okay. Well done. Alright. I just gotta pull this tight. <laughs> In order for this to work properly, pull the tension tight. That. Okay. Pull it back through here. gold by the way as much as this stuff costs us here ridiculous. but fine price goes up as the fuel price goes up because it's a petroleum product so thank you Russia well those two are tight that one's not. 
Take bets on if it'll tie. <laughs> One says it will. All right. Ha, 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 ha. 